Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is going to be an interesting thing. So I have my Colossal Con East Hall, which by the way, if you can't tell, my voice sounds weird. Um, I don't know if I'm sick, but I may be sick. Um, but before I get into that, I want to explain my name change. If you haven't noticed, I've changed my YouTube name um, to One Little Spark Cosplay. Uh, it's mostly just because there's some things that have come out recently about the toy like collecting fandom or fandom toy collectors and things like that a lot of uh, YouTube videos that deal with toys and things like that are being demonetized and I don't make money off of YouTube but I also want to be have people be able to find me better and I know for a long time my name wasn't that easy to search for so um, I'm hoping this will be easier. It probably won't be because it's the name of a Disney song as well. Um, that's kind of the inspiration, but it, it's it's fine. I I can I can make it work for right now. It I specifically added cosplay in there for a reason. Hopefully this will go over well. If not, oh well, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> um, anyway, so I went to CCE this past weekend. And I bought some stuff. I didn't buy a lot. Uh, CCE doesn't have like a ton of things to purchase. So um, we'll start with the artist alley. I got ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I got these two. These two are from the same artist. I've got Wicked Lady and I got Chibi Moon. And on the back, they're slightly different. They have different facial expressions. It's really, it's really cute. Of course, I had to buy them. They were they the art is so cute, but also like. It's Chibi Moon and especially Wicked Lady. So they, these will go on my Eda bag. Um, but that's all. The Artist Alley. They were from the artist Mango. Here's her card. So moving on to the dealer's room, because again, I really didn't buy stuff. I really only bought like four things. Uh, the small thing I bought was I bought this Akko charm. This is the only, like, Akko thing that they had in the dealer's room. They had, like, a 3D charm, and I think they had one other rubber strap, but I decided against getting them. Uh, I really don't have room for Akko stuff, but this is the new version of Akko where she's in her first year high school student uniform instead of her middle school uniform. So I got really excited, and I bought her because I was looking for Akko things, and they let me down. Why? Why? Bang dream, why? I bought this princess knight wall clock but it's also a jigsaw puzzle i was very excited to see it because it's rare to find anything related to princess knight and princess knight is considered one of the og magical girls so i figured it'd fit in my room really well because you know i don't have an actual clock in here so um i haven't put it together yet i may do a video i probably but i may not who knows with me at this point i don't have a lot of time to record things but it's just a jigsaw puzzle that you put together and then you put on a clock and add the clock face so it uses like a double A AA or triple A battery and then yeah, you go to town. So I just thought it was really neat that it's Princess Knight. Um, I only vaguely know who she is because of Erin Cerise's video. I actually have heard of her beforehand but I really didn't know much about her but she is Os Osamu Tezuka character. So she's really cute. I'm really glad to have this clock. So this is actually the most expensive thing I bought. It's Sui Seisei Seki figure that I thought was the absolute cutest and Rosa Maiden stuff is so hard to find sometimes, especially with Sui Seisei Seki because she's one of the more popular girls. But I love her. She's out of her box already. She's a really nice figure. She'll go really nicely on my figure shelf. I really don't collect Rosa Maiden merch just because most of it is Shinku and while I do like Shinku, uh, she's not my favorite. But I like her, her uh, water, watering can comes out of her hands. I just don't want to remove it because then I'll have to snap it back in. She's really cute. I look at her thing. So this is the most expensive thing that I bought. And the last thing that I bought is this. So this is Creamy Mommy. Um, if you couldn't tell, it, you may not know. But this is from The Long Goodbye. Now. This was in a bin at a booth, the same booth that I got the clock from. The booth is called Otaku Joe's, 
Uh, they tend to have a lot more retro things, things from older series, especially from the 80s and 90s. But this was in a box labeled laser disc. If you don't know what a laser disc is, it's like kind of the predecessor to CDs and DVDs. So I thought this was a laser disc. But it has like the inside, it's really nice, it has some really nice art, it has little OB sleeves still. Um, but this is not, in fact, a laser disc. <laughs> uh, I kind of thought it was a little weird because I didn't know what size laser discs were, but apparently they are big too. Uh, but no, this is actually a record. It's an actual record. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I didn't know what I was going to do with it with, as a laser disc. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting a record. <laughs> Um, but I, I'm assuming, I guess it's like the music from the OVA that this is from, because I haven't actually seen The Long Goodbye, but it's cool to kind of have some old Creamy Mommy merch, especially something like this. So, especially because the only thing I have is the 30th anniversary merch, but it's only Poji and Nega, so this one, this one's cool to have. I don't know if this is like what a lot of stores are doing, a lot of music records are doing nowadays where they're just like rebranding and putting out new stuff. This could be like an original from the 80s and I'm okay with that. That's kind of what I'm hoping for honestly. But I didn't pay too much for it so I'm quite happy with that. It'll go on display in my room. This is definitely a display. So with that, this is everything that I bought. With that, I will see you guys next time. Bye!